And apologies to Chris, we're going to interrupt and take you to New York because it's the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, talking to the United Nations. Disarmament by voluntarily renouncing or dismantling nuclear weapons. I also recognize the valuable contribution of nuclear weapon-free zones to nuclear disarmament and international peace and security. I commend the seminal role of non-nuclear weapon states, particularly the NAM states, which make up the bulk of these zones. The non-aligned movement calls upon all nuclear weapon states to ratify related protocols to all treaties establishing such zones, withdraw any reservations or interpretive declarations incompatible with their object and purpose and respect the denuclearization status of these zones. NAM urges the early signing and ratification by the nuclear weapon states of the protocol to the Treaty on Southeast Asia Nuclear Weapon Free Zone and its related document, documents without reservations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Almost four decades of international effort to establish a nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East had regrettably failed. Urgent practical steps towards the establishment of such a zone are necessary. Israel, the only non-party to the non-proliferation treaty in this region, should join thereto without any further delay. Accordingly, all nuclear activities in the region should be subject to the IAEA comprehensive safeguards. The international community has to redouble its efforts in support of the establishment of this zone. This would constitute a contribution to the objective of nuclear disarmament. In this regard, I reaffirm that the NAM state parties to the MPT urge the convening of the conference on the establishment of a zone free of nuclear weapons and all other weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East without any further delay with the participation of all countries in the region to avoid unwanted consequences. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the world has waited too long for nuclear disarmament. The indefinite possession of nuclear weapons cannot be tolerated, nor can their complete elimination be further delayed. Nuclear weapon states have the primary responsibility for nuclear disarmament. I strongly urge them to comply with this long overdue legal obligation. The fulfillment of nuclear disarmament obligations must not be delayed any further or held hostage to progress on non-proliferation or the perceived notions of strategic stability. Nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation are mutually reinforcing. They should be pursued simultaneously, not one at the cost of the other. 
Non-proliferation derives its legitimacy from the larger objective of nuclear disarmament. It should be implemented in a comprehensive and non-discriminatory manner. As long as nuclear weapons exist, the risk of their use, threat of use, and proliferation persist. The only absolute guarantee is their total elimination. Pending that day, nuclear weapon states should refrain from any threat or use of nuclear weapons against any non-nuclear weapon state under any circumstances. The current declarations on negative security assurances are inadequate. They must be codified into a universal legal instrument. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, nuclear disarmament remains our highest priority. To take forward the nuclear disarmament agenda, the non-aligned movement proposes, therefore, the following roadmap. First, early commencement of negotiations in the Conference on Disarmament on a comprehensive convention on nuclear weapons for the prohibition of their possession, development, production, acquisition, testing, stockpiling, transfer, use or threat of use, and for their destruction. Second, designation of 26 September every year as an international day to renew our resolve to completely eliminate nuclear weapons. We invite all governments and civil society, academia and media to join hands in making this vision a reality. Third, convening a high-level international conference on nuclear disarmament in five years to review progress in this regard. The movement will present a resolution to this assembly regarding this roadmap. I trust that it will enjoy your support. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, no nation should possess nuclear weapons. Since there are no right hands for these wrong weapons, as you, Mr. Secretary, General have rightly put it. NAM is determined to make every effort to realize the vision of a nuclear weapon free world without further delay. Instead of nuclear weapons, let us invest in development and in eradicating poverty, ignorance, and diseases. Let us bestow upon future generations a nuclear weapon-free world. This is their right and our responsibility. Let us prove that we are the United Nations, nations united for peace. I thank you, Mr. President.
So the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, addressing the UN General Assembly there in New York okay. on the issue of nuclear weapons. He said the world has waited too long for nuclear disarmament. He said that nuclear weapon states have the primary responsibility for disarmament and he strongly urged them to comply with long overdue legal obligations.